Hey everyone, Sega Superstar here, and today I'll be doing a review on the Sonic X uh, Megabot figurines. Um, now, I had a few requests to uh, do a few reviews on these figurines, so I thought, well, why not do them together? Um, so yeah, unfortunately these aren't boxed, but to tell you the truth, I'm pretty happy just to own these as they are on their own, so yeah. So as you can see I've got five here, I've got Amy, Tails, Shadow, Sonic and Knuckles. Um, I'll be going through the detail in, uh, individually. Uh, so first we'll start off with um, Amy. So. Now, these are really well made uh, figurines as I just stated. Um, the poses are pretty sweet. Um, I love the detail. They've, uh, Hit the nail right on the head with all the uh, features, uh, body portions, everything. You know, they're just awesome figures to own. So yeah, there's the uh, front view of Amy. Uh, she does move. You can move them to any pose you want, but I'm not going to do that for now because it's just a pain in the bum to do it again. So yeah, side view of Amy, pretty cool. They do stand on their own, which is awesome. We don't need support. Uh, the one that might need support, uh, maybe unless you're really careful, is Sonic is the most hardest one to uh, support. So yeah, he's uh, a bit tricky, but I love it. I love his pose, it's so unique. So we're uh, getting back to Amy now. Uh, yeah. Let's see, back view. Pretty awesome. Little tower there, pretty cool. Oh yeah, um... They do have their own uh, unique marking uh, by Sega. You can see it's been a bit annoying. <clears throat> so there, uh, Sonic, if you can see that clearly, it's Sonic Project uh, China. Uh, so yeah, her legs do move, her arm moves, her head moves. So pretty much pretty flexible figurine to a few to a few degrees. So that's Amy done. Uh, next we have Tails. Now he's pretty awesome. Uh, I love the way he's uh, you know he's displayed. You know he he's pose is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can see I've posed him so he's like you know sort of introducing something. You know I've just done that pose. So I thought it was cool. Um, his hands do move, you know, sort of, whatever way you want to do. Again, he stands on his own. Um, his detail is, you know, cool. See a good picture of him there. His shoes are awesome, the way they've done them. Exactly accurate. And I love the way they've done these towers. You know, really cool, they move, do the way you want to do them. Um, yeah. And again, he has his own marking. All these figurines have their marking on on their shoes, bottom of their shoes. So, let's see it there if it decides to focus. There I go, Sonic Project China. So yeah, I mean, these are definitely worth trying to grab on eBay or wherever you can find them, because you know they're one of my favourite figurines to own. Really, my set. I'm really happy I've I've got them. So yeah, this tail's done. Uh, now, this is just my opinion, but I believe they fell short on making Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, he just doesn't look right, you know, the front of him just looks a bit weird. He just doesn't look that they could have done, they could have done a lot better with Shadow. Um, you know, his body portion's excellent, you know, shoes are cool, you know, just everything's just great, but then you just sort of... You know, you think, like, oh yeah, that's nice, that's really cool side. Done the spikes really well, and everything else. But then you sort of go to the front view and you think, hmm, they could have done a lot better. Considering what the other figurines look like, he he isn't the best. But then again, everything can't be perfect, so yeah. Again, you can pose them for whatever you want, you can just move them around. You can do him a bit aggressive there, with his fists up. So yeah, not bad, not bad figurine at all. Um, 
go to Knuckles next. I'll do Sonic last since he was requested by someone on YouTube. So I'll do him last. So Knuckles is next. And he is one of my favourite out of the set because he has done rather well. Uh, his shoes are really cool. As you can see they're great detail. Um, they've got his expression really, you know, really spot on. With his, you know, his smile and they've done his eyes really well, the paint job. Um, I love the way his fists are, they're really cool. And his quills, you know, it's really great. So yeah, yeah, I like the way they've done his tail as well. Really awesome. Fantastic manufacturing work. Yeah. Do the pose when his hands are up, it could be gliding, but <laughs> so that that's knuckles. Okay. Moving on to like the hedgehog now. Now, as I stated earlier, he is kind of hard to um stand up, but as you can see he's behaving really well and standing up for me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the side view, so this is him like sort of in mid run. Uh, his arms are back. This is the way uh, this is, this figurine is supposed to look. Um, yeah. Turn around. His front view is really cool. I, I do love the way he looks. Great features. Great smile. Great eyes. Everything's fantastic. Uh, the shoes they've done really well. Done really a great job on on the shoes. Everything is just unique with this figurine, with this entire set. In fact, you know, just gone gone all out to make it really rather awesome. Spared no expense to make these figurines look so cool. Yeah, I mean, look at the detail on his hands. They they've made sure they've done every detail to the knuckles, to the fingers, thumb, the wrists. It's just awesome. Oh yeah. Pretty much it with Sonic there. Yeah. Got his usual marking on his bottom of his shoe. So yeah. You can do him running like that. Good pose there, him running towards you. Oh so yeah. That's the uh Megabot series there. Uh, thanks for watching guys and girls, uh, comment, subscribe and uh, any other previews you want me to do just leave, leave comments at the bottom of the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you all later.